Hey guys, first before I do this test, I want to give a big shout out to Robert Lowry for verifying um, everything that I wanted to do here. That uh, basically 8 ppm in this water right here is going to be the same thing as 8 ppm in a pool. Um, the pH is going to act the same, everything's going to be the same because uh, theoretically, 8 ppm in the water here that I'm going to do in the buckets. It'd be the same thing as putting in a gallon of chlorine in a 15,000 gallon pool. So it's gonna act the same. So whatever I do here, expect the same when you pour in a gallon in a 15,000 gallon pool. Um, it's gonna be the same, because that'll give you approximately eight PPM uh, when you pour a gallon in a 15,000 gallon pool. Now, if these pools have borates in it, which Robert Lowry pointed out to me, um, now if these pools have borates in them, the pH is not going to rise that much because the borates is going to um, help stabilize that pH. So we might not get the same reaction if you have borates in the pool. So what this is going to do is to show people how much pH is going to actually rise. Um, if, you, if you don't get a whole lot of rise, because I know they say you add you know, so much acid every time you pour in a gallon of chlorine to offset that. But um, I don't think it's going to be all that much. So we're going to find out in this video here that I'm going to do, and we're going to find out how much that pH rises. So stay tuned, and we're going to get to that. Um... Hey, guys, how's it going today? Hey, what I decided to do today is test water here to find out if pH rises when you add chlorine to a pool. And uh, if so, after the chlorine is gone, will it go back down to a normal level? And also, um, how much the pH is going to rise and does it really affect the pool when you pour in uh, chlorine? Okay, now, theoretically, when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm going to add 8 ppm of chlorine to this bucket. Now, yesterday, um, or the, uh, a couple of days ago, when I did that other video on the leaves, in this bucket here, a three and a half gallon bucket filled up probably, I don't know, two and a half inches from the top. One mil of uh, chlorine here gave me eight ppm. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in eight ppm of chlorine in this water. Um, what, we're, what we wanna find out is how much our pH is gonna rise. Um, and then if, if uh, when the chlorine's gone, will it go back down to the norm? Um, so what we're gonna do is I got a digital pH meter. So this is gonna tell us exactly what's going on. Now, again, like I said, 8 ppm of chlorine in this bucket is theoretically gonna be the same as 8 ppm in a pool. Because 8 ppm, no matter what, is going to be basically the same thing. It's going to react the same. It's going to give you the same amount of rise, same amount of everything, because you're putting in 8 ppm. Okay, so now let's see what we got going here in the buckets first. What do we got here? Seven, seven, nine. Okay, now what do we have in this bucket? S same tap water, same everything. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got the same, 779. 779. Okay, both buckets are the same. Okay, we got 779. Stabilize the pH 7.79, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is add chlorine to this bucket here. All right, 7.79, adding the mill of chlorine. Stirring it around, and let's see what we got here. Okay. 
Okay. Now what do we got? We got seven, seven point eight, eight. Okay, so yes, pH does go up when you add chlorine. Almost went up, uh, about went up, uh, up a whole point here. Okay, 7.88. So, okay, now, just from um, 8 ppm of chlorine, which is about what you're going to pour into a pool, um, if you pour in a whole gallon, the pH went from 7.79 to 7.88, almost a full point, um, a rise. So now what we're going to do is we'll just let this sit and uh, let the coin go out of it and then see if it goes back down to what our starting pH was or probably a little bit lower um, than the starting pH because I'm sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is come back in a few days and check the uh, chlorine level and let's until we don't have any more chlorine and then uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll check the pH again and we'll find out if it went back down to where it was originally or maybe a little bit lower or thereabouts. So anyways, all right, we'll be right back uh, in a couple of days.